Hi and welcome to this part 2 tutorial video. Um, in the first video I have discussed how you could have used the idle first signals to make a return of 18% on a GEL trade using a simple moving average strategy for entering and exiting your positions. And many people have asked me to make the same analysis for all the trades in December so that they could see if the overall portfolio was uh, positive or negative um, and as you can see over here I've made a full analysis and the overall portfolio had a return of 12.7 percent and what I will do in this video I will show you first of all every single trade um, that was made where you enter the trade and where you should exit the trade for both the long and short positions um, and then we will go through the returns of every single trade, how the algorithm performs uh, on average, how it performs when it makes a good trade, a bad trade, and then a simple allocation. Um, and so let's start. As you can see, um, the long position trades up here um, are all trades that you should be able to find in your top 10 tables. Um, the signals are here on the right side. Uh, and here are the prices, the closing prices. In the middle is the moving average. When the um, formula returns a 1, it means that the price is above the moving average. When it returns a 0, the price is below the 5-day moving average. Um, and so you would always enter a trade when these two match and the next day signal is positive and you would exit the trade when the signal is below 10 if you have a customized forecast so you would exit at last night's price or you would exit when the um, price is no longer above the moving average again at last night's price now as you can see from the long position we had a total of 8 out of 13 trades which means 63 percent of the trades were profitable um, and the long position had a total of seven trades of which two were not profitable and five were profitable with the most profitable trade being GEL at 18.7 percent and the least profitable trade actually for the whole uh, December was uh, GMCR at a loss of 2.74 percent um, the short position here you can find all of the short position trades um, and there are corresponding tickers and pluses here simply represent that the signal continu continued to be negative now uh, what happened here is that in the middle of the month most of the shorts um, turned out to have a negative return and the price went up however at the end of the month many uh, short positions trades started taking place and were extremely extremely profitable Unfortunately, this analysis uh, was over around the 6th or 7th of January, so we just left them open. Um, but they would have made a lot more revenue for sure if we would have continued with it. Now, as you can see here, what is really interesting is, first of all, that the average trade makes 4.17%. Uh, more importantly is when you split the good and bad trades you can see that a good trade makes 8% on average with a standard deviation up and down of 5% while the bad trade makes on average one point uh, loses on average 1.31% with a deviation in either direction of 1.2% and surprisingly although this is only a one month test if you go through Dr. Reutemann's articles where this article uh, strategy was first published you will see that his long-term results were very very similar um, and really what that means in very simple words is when you use the signals in this strategy you have a very strong potential to make a profit um, when you make a loss you make a very small loss and you're going to make more times profit than you make a loss um, this is in very basic words Finally, um, we can see here a model for allocation, and I just made a hypothetical model. You have a million dollars when you have uh, when you're entering your trade, and the morning signal is um, above 100. You would invest 250,000, and when it is below um, 100, you would have invested 200,000. And as you can see here, the first five trades that were made um, were actually losing trades. 
Um, however, it was not drastic. You can see the total loss was about twelve thousand um, dollars. However, once the good trades started kicking in, they were much much more profitable, and you would have ended the month on one million one hundred twenty-seven, or a total gain of twelve point seventeen percent. At the same time that, um, from the beginning of December to January six, the S and P lost about one point eight percent. So you can see here that the algorithm is very much capable of finding you good trades in either direction, both when the S&P performs well and also when it doesn't perform well, which is very important. Um, and of course, you can find all of these trades in this Excel file um, in a link in this video. Um, you can also find an article which explains all of this uh, analysis in detail. I will post that link as well. And if you would like to see more future videos like this, uh, then subscribe to our channel. Um, and if you leave any comments, I'll be happy to answer your questions. So, good luck.